Hi everyone, it's Monique from Butterbee Scraps. Just here to show you one of my latest projects. Um, thought I'd try my hand at digital scrapbooking. Uh, I've been watching Marion Smith quite a bit lately and actually have purchased a lot of her downloads because they're absolutely beautiful. Um, but thought that I'd like to make a more masculine themed one, something that's a little bit more personal to me. Actually, I'm making this journal. I'm going to put um, pictures of my husband and journaling about him in it. I've done a lot of projects, but I've never really you know, personalized them lately, so um, this one I'm going to do that with. And what got me going on this was uh, my husband was cleaning out the garage a few weeks back, and I went in to see him, and he had this stack of notebooks he was going to throw away. And the notebooks were from like his grade 10 and 12 mechanics courses and um, if you look through he's got lots and lots of sketches here in his notebooks and I think they're just beautiful some of these sketches so what I decided to do was to create a set of digital papers that incorporated his sketches for this journal that I'm gonna make about him so Anyways, let's let's have a look here. So the, I just put a charm on on the binding here. Tried to make it masculine and things that relate to him. Like his nickname is PK, so I've got a P and a K on there. Got a set of pliers, a key, a light bulb, some gears. You know, really masculine type items on here. Um, aside from that. This, you'll find, is really, really under-embellished compared to what I usually do. I haven't decorated the cover. I haven't added any pictures or journaling yet. Uh, my husband would prefer his, not, his picture not be on the internet, so that's why I'm showing it to you now. So let's have a quick look. So the covers, I, the main colors I use throughout the album are this deep burgundy, and I don't know how well these colors are going to show up on the film. Hopefully they show up okay, because it's quite a dark... Um, album, however, it looks quite a bit darker in, in the video here than in person. So there's a dark burgundy, there's like an aqua or teal color, and lots of golds. So the inside cover I just left plain and um, created some tags here. So what I did for most of the tags is I incorporated images uh, from Leonardo da Vinci just to kind of offset all of the sketches from my husband's notebook. So I don't know how well that's showing up, but there's a face of a man there. And these you can either glue together or leave in a booklet form. So far I've left everything open just because I don't know how much journaling I'm going to do. This one here, geez, I hope it shows up better on the computer, but there's a sketch of his there as well. This is the back side with some journaling lines. And then I added two just craft color pages in between each digital sheet. And I did like a really, really faint stamping of lines on it. I think I used antique linen, so it was just barely show up. This is the next page. I think his sketch shows up a little bit better there this time. And all this writing, this is all writing of my husband's. It's out of the, the journal itself. There's that face again. Actually... I did a crisscross on this side. And I'll just flip through the craft pages quickly. This one here opens like this, and there's a tag in each, and there's a Da Vinci sketch, of course. This is a sketch from my husband's notebook. A sketch from my husband's notebook as well as his writing in the background there. Oh. Sorry guys, I don't know why I'm having such a problem here. Some more sketches from my husband's notebook. This year I created a little envelope with an insert.
bunch of tickets. This here is another little envelope. There's a sketch of Da Vinci himself. Oops. This one shows up really well. I like this one here. Lots and lots of tags in this. And that's it. And the back is just similar to the front. Um, having problems with this binding. Anyways, um, that's my journal. Um, I'm considering putting downloads online if people are interested. Um, so if you just leave a comment to this video if you're interested. If, there's a, if there are a lot of people who want it, um, I'm just going to have to figure out a way um, to make it easy so that you can actually go and download them directly from the internet. What I've been doing with my patterns so far is... Um, I've been emailing you the pattern after I received payment and uh, I know that means that some people have to wait a few hours before before they get their download so anyways there's 24 pages eight and a half by eleven pages and actually there's a few items that I haven't included in the album yet like I've created some pull tabs and also a library pocket with some more inserts here so I mean there's Tons and tons and tons of stuff. Everything you need to make uh, an album would be in this kit. So, anyways, I hope you like it. Um, just as a little treat, I want to show you guys my next little project. Just a sneak peek. I'm going to be using a Graphic 45. I believe it's pronounced Communique paper. Um, and what I've decided to do is make a little tiny telephone booth. So these are, sorry for the glare you guys, the windows are actually mirrors and it's hinged on the back. The roof is, I like the roof, it's kind of neat, it's got a couple of different arches on it. Um, I gave it like a rusted enamel look and then you're going to open it up and then there's going to be a series of pages in here four on each side that are going to flip down. So kind of like if you saw uh, Ginger, Ginger's um, vertical TP mini over at My Sister Scrapper, that's what it's going to be like. So yeah, I kind of scrap lifted that idea. So anyway, this is the start of it. Um, when I'm finished, I will definitely post a video and show you guys how it turns out, but I thought you guys might want a little sneak peek in. I'm pretty excited about this one, so I wanted to show you as well. Thank you so much for watching, and everybody have a great day. Bye-bye.